a vote on this bill, either for it or against it. And this bill still is in uh, in flux right now. But the bill, but what we're going to have is another cloture vote tomorrow, which would be intended to end basically the debate, limit the number of amendments that are going forward. And, I mean, depends, and that depends on how many amendments we get up on the floor today and, and, and what the arrangement is with the other side, because there are people that have legitimate amendments. For example, we were able to get an amendment up today that I voted for. Uh, they, they tried to uh, uh, motion the table it, and that's Kay Bailey Hutchinson's amendment that says these people within t- within two years have got to go back home and, and then uh, reapply and come back in the country. They just can't sit here for 10 years or whatever it is before and then uh, then ultimately you know get behind the line and then uh, and end up getting a green card so there's a lot of amendments that are really good amendments that would make this bill but much didn't, better. That, didn't that amendment get shot down i know for example that no, it passed today uh, all right but the other one that the k bailey hutchinson also had an amendment that was tabled 53 to 45 earlier today that would require all adult immigrants to return home temporarily in order to qualify for permanent lawful status no, in the we, country no, so I, that so i that, thought the i thought the I have I have the AP story. Let me read it to you. Oh, it, oh it's okay. She's it failed. I thought her amendment yeah. plan to send immigrants home is defeated. If you're asking me what I'm going to do, I'm going to weigh all of this. I'm not going to tell you today I'm either for it or against it. I just want you to know, and I want everybody else to know, that you do not intimidate George Voinovich. This is my 40th year in this business. Senator, with I all due respect, him, I'm, call him as, no, wait, I'm I not call trying him to intimidate you. I'm, okay. just, I'm just trying to get you. Are you saying that I'm intimidating you? No, no. I'm just saying, though, that a lot of the radio programs have really got out there and fired this thing up. And, and so people are really hot about it. And I'm getting calls from people that, that basically are intimidating me. Say, you know, if you do this, then I'm going to do that. So and if they voice their opinions and they say to you that this is a defining bill for them in terms of the type of representation they want, you view yeah, that as a threat? They, what I'm trying to say to you is, and during my 40 years in this business, I voted on a lot of pieces of legislation. What I do is I weigh them, I look at the pros and I look at the cons, and then I make a decision. And if that decision is... Is something that a lot of people are unhappy about, then they'll have to take that Senator, into consideration the next time I'm up for, for election. Fair enough. I'm just, to me, this is a defining issue because I think this is one of the most important issues of our time. Um, in terms of how, you know, people, uh, if they tell you it's a defining issue, I think they're just expressing yeah, to you look, their, their, Sean, their passion you about the are issue. You, are you happy with the current? Are you happy with the current legislation that we have today? Are hey, you, are hey, you Senator, happy with... Has, wait, wait a second. Are you happy with the fact that we let in 50,000 people every year from unrepresented countries? Senator, let me, are you let me happy with, no, let, me fin, let me finish. You go are ahead. you happy with, with the chain immigration that we have here that lets in mothers, sisters, brothers, cousins, and aunts? This legislation cuts it back and says if you get in here, you get a green card, you can bring your wife and you can bring your minority kids. You can't bring in the rest of your family anymore. We said, we've gone to the European style of setting up points. You can't get in here unless these points allow your your, your one of the categories that we need in this country. Our current law is is, is stinks. It's a terrible law. Nobody's it, enforcing it, Senator. Nobody's built the fence. You guys, you know, allocated money for 700 miles of fence. We've built two miles of it. You know, to answer your question, it's five and a half years, Senator, nearly six years since 9-11, and our borders still are not secure. You can't even tell me you've read this bill because as of yesterday, the bill wasn't even completed and written. You haven't haven't read the bill. Here's the statistics, okay? Have you read the bill? Have you read this bill? I have read most of of the uh, summaries on it. No, I haven't read every page Nobody's read it because it wasn't written as of yesterday. Well, the fact of the matter is, is that in terms of, of uh, in terms of the border, the border today is one heck of a lot more secure than it was three years ago. Hey, Senator, with all due respect, Senator, anybody can walk across these borders any time they want. I've been down on the border five times. These bar- borders aren't anywhere near secure, Senator. It's five and a half years after 9/11, nearly six. And I'm going to tell you. Let me give you why uh, people that you say are fired up about this. But let me tell you why I'm fired up about it. There have been no con- Committing hearings on the bill, Senator. There aren't going to be hearings. There's been no cost analysis, and and no consideration has been given to any of these things. That's okay. why I'm mad. Okay, I, you, you really didn't give me a chance. I don't really think it's worthy to talk to you right now because you've got your mind up, but you're not really you're not really interested in hearing the other side of the coin. All you want to hear is somebody agree with you, 
and I'm disappointed in you because I had more respect for you. I wouldn't have gone on this radio program with you if I hadn't thought that you'd give me an opportunity. Senator, to... you have had a fair opportunity, and you're mad that it seems to me you say people are intimidating you because they dare to disagree with uh, you. You haven't, you haven't even given me a chance, Sean. It's been nice talking so to you. So you're going to hang up because you don't have the courage to debate no, it, just like the you Senate. Won't give me a chance to even. I'll give you all the time you want. I'll leave you for the whole hour, Senator. You want the whole hour? Let's go through it point by point. Have you guys in the Senate done a cost analysis on this, sir? We, we know that we have spent a great deal more money on this legislation than... I didn't than, ask you that. I asked if you've done yes, a cost we, analysis. Yes, we have done a cost analysis. How much is it going to cost the Social Security and Medicare systems? Heritage says $2.5 How much do you say? I'm not talking. I'm talking about the amount of money that we're going to spend to secure the border. That wasn't my question. I asked you if you did a cost analysis. If you legalize 12 to 20 million people, how much over the next 15, 20 years is it going to cost the taxpayers for our Medicare and Social Security system? Well, the fact of the matter is the bill provides that the people that are here that paid their Social Security are not going to get their Social Security. If they stay here and they get a job, then then they would be eligible to receive their Social Security. As a matter of fact, Social Security has really been ahead over the years because a lot of these people have given phony Social Security cards. They're never going to be able to collect the money out of Social but, Security. But, but uh, have you read the Fair Heritage Foundation study? Because no, I, I can... haven't. No, I'm sorry. Well, I haven't. It's worth reading because what they have done here is they figured out after legalization, after you grant a me immediate path to citizenship, and once people become eligible, whatever the year is, 10, 12, 13 years later, and the average, you know, education levels and, and estimated incomes of people, what they have determined is, is that over time, it's going to cost the taxpayers of this country, drain the system, Social Security and Medicare, we're talking about illegal immigrants, $2.5 trillion. Don't you think before the Senate votes no, on wait, a bill... Before, hang on, no, 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 let me finish my question. Wait, wait, let me finish my question. just a second, okay? You're interrupting me. Go ahead. Okay, well, you if uh, if you count the number of minutes you've had and I've had, I think you've had more minutes than I have. <laughs> the fact of the matter is, is that I believe that if this legislation passed, that about uh, a third to forty percent of the people that uh, are illegals would go into the ten month pr uh, program where they come every, you know, they work here ten months and go home. A lot of these folks, they don't want to become United States citizens. Now, let's let's say wait, that. Wait, 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 where do you get that from? That they don't want to? Of course they do. But you still have an answer, no, Senator. No, no, this, no, no, wait, wait, wait. wait no, no, let me finish my point. Because I didn't ask no, you no, a wait, simple let me question. My point. My Senator, point is you won't answer. Answer my question. You're using the you're using ten uh, to twenty thousand people. I'm saying to you, if there's twelve million people and a third of them go home, then then that they're not a problem at all for our social security system. They're not a problem for our Medicare system. That now. is an assumption that you've made, never having read the Heritage Foundation report. But my original question to you was the following: I asked whether or not, because I think Congress is rushing this bill through. It's yet to even been fully written. It hasn't been read by any senator in full. You're only getting quote by your own estimation a summary of the bill and i asked if you as a senator united states senator did any cost analysis of what ultimately this can cost the american taxpayer and what it would do to systems like medicaid medicare and social security now i have read this heritage foundation report and my point to you is don't you think it would be wise before you pass this amnesty bill to find out what it's going to cost the american taxpayer and just sort of guessing here on this program hey, the way you are yeah i don't agree with some of the press well, sean i want to tell you something i really appreciate the Opportunity you're running away you. because you can't no, answer I, a simple I, no, I question. You are. You're running, you're running away, away because you Sean, can't answer a question. This I was is... supposed to be on here for five minutes. Thank you very much. And okay, I hope the Senator. next time around we have another subject uh, that we uh, can be more rational about. Thank oh, you. So I'm irrational because I disagree well, with you? you the much. almighty Senator. Okay, I got it. Thank you.